Hi, my name is Darren Lacken and I am a Trendvision mentor. I'm based in Crow Street Collective in Dublin in Ireland. So I've been hairdressing about 19 years. Never wanted to be a hairdresser. I was a dancer initially. So um, I did that till I was maybe 19, 20 and then a friend of mine had a salon in Dublin and I used to work on the, as a coordinator, chatting to staff and uh, clients and stuff. And she'd asked me, did I want to be a hairdresser? And I was like, no, not really. Uh, so she goes, do it anyway. So I did. Um, and get, after a couple of weeks, I really started to like it and it, I was actually good at it. And so it just went on from there. So a few years later, I joined a different salon. I've been there for 15 years. And four years ago, I, I opened a, my own salon at Temple Bar with my partner, Mark. So it's been, um, yeah, it's been, it's been an amazing journey. Uh, and the first year we opened, I entered Trendvision and I won uh, Global Trendvision. So that has changed my career path and uh, my career uh, today. So the journey from the beginning, from photographic entry, you get to for photographic, for, excuse me, you get through the photographic entry and then you go on to regionals. So it's a process of, you know, there's so much help there you know, from from back from home in Dublin, so or, you know, from the Weller Studio, and information that you can, they you know, they kind of give to you. So the process is like finding a model, makeup artist, clothes. It's really good. You know, it involves every kind of aspect of fashion. I just think, you know, as well, you know, it, it kind of gives you an interest into makeup and clothes, not only hair. You know, so it opens like so many little doors of you know meeting people and creating connections. The process from then to um, to the UK and Ireland final. Again, it's elevating, you know, it's, it's profile, you know, you're getting to work alongside, like I worked alongside mentors with Jason, Darren, uh, Bruce Macefield. So, you know, you're getting to work with these amazing people because you really only ever think that you're going to see a show or that you'll see in magazines, but you actually get alongside, you actually get their time. And it's amazing because I just think that as a, as a stylist and a, um, a colorist, you don't really stop learning. You know, you're constantly looking for things and you, different aspects of, you know, what's around you you know, you're kind of taking that in. And then getting to the Barcelona, so winning a uh, UK Nine final, and then I got to go to Barcelona. That was a whole different thing. It's a massive scale. It's, you get all those nerves, it's intimidating. And, but it's great, it's all building up to the, you know, to the final, the, the, you know, them, them final hour you have of, you know, blow drying and styling the model. And then again, I mean, even, obviously I won, and it's unbelievable, but the process of going through it, it, it I learned so much. And then after winning, everything kind of just changed. It's bizarre because people had said to me, you know, another previous winner, um, Andrew Dunn, he's um, based in Dublin, he had said to me, everything's going to change. And I was like, is it? But it did. So, and became, I became the mentor, you know, so, and it, although it's a massive, um, it's a massive responsibility, but it's great if I can help someone, I can, I've gone through the process and I know what has to be done. So for me now to kind of be able to pass on and be, be a mentor, you know, I kind of thought it was just going to be, my career was going to be back in the salon. I opened the salon, so I was like, okay, that's it, focus on that. But, you know, in the space of, you know, six months, everything has just changed. So it has, it's had a massive impact, not only on me, but, you know, the staff and the salon, you know, how people see it in the industry. You know, it's, it's, it's good and it's good to be recognised for, you know, something that you love doing. The stuff that I bring back to the salon, you know, it, is, is amazing, you know, it's stuff that money can't buy because I'm getting to work alongside the best stylist, colorist, session stylist in the world. So things that I see and I bring back to my staff, you know, and it's kind of encouraging them because they've forwarded them events to Trend Vision this year. So everyone's hungry and it's great having, you know, a male green one in runway because it's something that we haven't had before. And I know at the minute it's only UK and Ireland, but and maybe, you know, in years to come, it'll be on more of a global scale. So that's kind of making them you know, research things more and be a bit more interested rather than just to be in a nine to five stylist and, you know, you know, do the job and go home. So it's, it's generating buzz in the salon, especially when, gen, um, when transition time uh, comes around. When you start off with your concept and your trend, I think you need to leave room for development because I think it's, it's a journey or a story whatever way you want to you know, put a spin on it. So they need to see progression and growth. So when you start off with one thing, there has to be you know, somewhere else for it to go. It's not, you can't just have like a one trick pony. It can't be just the same thing that you just re redo each time. But I do think working with mentors and people that have done it before, we can share that. 
and say, you know, it could be only something very small that needs to be changed, but still it can make a massive difference. Because I think from previous, from my experience, from, from most competitions that I would have, competitions, excuse me, that I would have done, it's always, once you get through, scrap it and start all over again. But then, but there's a reason you got through. So it's like taking that and building on it and making it better and improving on it. My top tip, my main top tip would be the model. So make sure you get a good model. They don't have to be professional, but make sure she can walk. You know, make sure she feels beautiful. Make sure she feels good. Because like anything, if we put on clothes and we feel good, we're gonna portray that. So she has to feel like that she looks good, that you know, she feels herself. So it's a collaboration, it's not, I know it's your vision, but you need to, you know, meet with the, the stylist, the makeup artist, the model. So it's a collaboration at the end of the day. So my top tips is make sure everything that you do, everyone's happy, everyone's 100%. And although it's your vision, you still need a team of people to bring your vision to life. So really, you know, make sure everyone is, is on board and 100%. And at the end of the day, once you're, once you're happy with what you do, well then it doesn't really matter what anyone else thinks.